going on YouTube? It's Joey here with Simply RCs. Uh, as you've seen in the last video, we got a uh, UMG 10 6x6 Axial SCX 10-2. Uh, yeah, it's new to me. I have had SCX 10-1 6x6s before. I've homemade them, uh, extended the frames, did the custom links. And I drove, I think the first one I made, I think I drove a few times. Second one, I think I drove a few times and then I sold them. So hopefully this won't be the same case. I plan on keeping this rig forever. Uh, but I'll show you my first thoughts on it and uh, some of the features. So it is a Unimog. It has light buckets here, 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 and here. And lights down here. And you see it's got a fair lead spot on there so it's ready for a winch. Uh, as you can tell right away, six six wheels, well, seven, counting spare. And these are functioning bead locks. These center caps just screw onto the threads on the axle. See, that's how you access the uh, nut down there. Uh, these tires are an MT45 axial tire. They kind of look like a mud plugger to me. I do like them, though. From that one little run I took them on, they seem to perform pretty well. Uh... Yeah, this is two separate pieces, and from what I'm told, these are actually painted on the outside, so as you scratch them, you're going to see the clear stuff start shining through. Sorry, I've got body parts in here. Uh, it does have a plastic cage back here holding your spare tire. I had to put a Simply RC's decal on there, and this is the shop we actually bought it at, is Eliminator RC. Uh, the wife bought this for me with the kids from, well, for my birthday. Because the rig they originally bought me never showed up so see what happens with that but uh, so she got a refund and this is what I got now yeah the body is very detailed it looks like it's got tail lights uh, I see plastic door handles that's nice this was a big feature for me I like this folding mirrors really like that because on the trail you're always breaking mirrors off or at least I am during rollovers and stuff snorkel wipers those are plastic good to have but yeah that's the body and uh yeah I can't really say much bad about the body it, it's fairly nice I mean there's tons of room in here tons of room for other ESCs for winches, for an interior plate if you really wanted to put one. We'll see how far I end up taking this thing. I do have wheels on order for it, or rims are on order for it. They should be here sometime in April. Uh, other than that, I think that's the only... Um, I don't know how you want to put that. Mod for looks. Aesthetics? Yeah, we'll go with that word. I think that's pretty much all the aesthetics I'll be doing to it. Uh, I plan on putting a few extra lights in there. Because like I said, these are light buckets. Here, 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 and here. But there's no lights in those. So I'm going to put lights in those for sure. Uh, these ones I'll keep. And the tail lights I'll keep. But yeah, those four. And then I want to put four more on here yet. Uh, I think I'm going to put some beacons on here. Possibly a light bar. So this thing will be well lit. I've got a winch waiting for it. I just want to get a fair lead mount and figure out for sure if I want to uh, bolt it down to this bumper piece here. Now as you can see, the body does just fold up. I like that. The hinge design is great because it gets rid of any body posts in the back. Uh, so I do want to mount a winch, possibly on here. We'll see how strong that is. Uh, it's got the forward battery mount. I believe this is a Spectrum servo. Spectrum S605. This seems to be okay. It's a little, a little sticky. When you turn one way, it kind of stays there a little bit. Uh, that would be my only downfall is when that thing dies, I'll put something better in there. Uh, waterproof receiver box. A dynamite ESC. Waterproof. 2S, 3S capable, uh, 35 turn motor, uh, I think this is the same transmission they use in the stock SCX 10 twos. it's not a 2 speed, but it is, uh, I believe Metal Gear is in there, said the box, um, 
I had to get a adapter plug from these EC3 or EC8s, IC3, IC3 to Dean's because I run Dean's and I didn't want to avoid any kind of warranties. I don't know what that does or not. So the hobby shop sent one of these home with the wife. It was, I think, like 10 bucks or 13 bucks or something like that. Uh, it's got the skid plates down here and one of them is completely empty. So again, if you want to mount another ESC for the winch or a light controller or anything like that, there's lots of room there. And, and you could go up, build a little plate that mounts over top. You got more mounting space to do everything because of this big honking body. But it does have plastic body shocks. That kind of bothers me. I was hoping it would come aluminum. Uh, looks like four link. Four link, four link, plastic drive shafts, boat and a three link with a panard in the front. But, yeah, that works out pretty good. Oh, the inner bed comes out of this. But I'm learning as I as I go with this truck. I haven't really done too much with it as well since that last run at Pinawa there. But just learning. And I'm enjoying this truck. I want to I want to keep it the way it is for the most part and do a few small ads. I will note that it is not a solid frame rail from front to rear. It's a plate that joins two two frame rails right there, which is kind of smart because I mean, if you wanted a 10-2, but why would you? Cuz you got a 6x6, six six, but if you wanted to make it a 4x4, four four, I'm sure you could just put this axle over here and, you know, remove this stuff and you could have a 4x4 four four truck. I won't be doing that. I will be keeping it as a 6x6. Six six. Uh, it has this plastic down here to support the bed, I would assume. Or unless that's where the cage mounts. But oh, it's just it's such a cool truck. Such a cool truck. Sorry, I'm still excited. Very excited for this truck. It has two body posts. One here, one here. That's what hides their mounts in the front, nice and hidden. They had those on my SCX 10-3, and I really like that. And I'm really happy that the 10-2 has it as well. This is the first Axial SCX 10-2 I've had. Uh, a good friend of mine, he has a 10-2. He's got the 55 Ford too, and he high re highly recommended it. I've got a buddy out in Saskatchewan who has the 6x6, and I was telling him for a while that I wanted to get the TRX-6, and he strongly recommended I don't get it. One, the cost, which I mean, but it does have the locking diffs and the two-speed, but I don't care for that Mercedes body, that uh, G-Fit 500. I don't care for that, but that wasn't the deciding factor, but cost was, because I could afford this one, I couldn't afford the other one. But I was going to save up for the other one, and I didn't. But this one is, it's a 6x6. Six six. It should go everywhere. Should. Now, I'm hoping to prove that this summer. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I've got some big plans for it. I'm uh, going to take it up to Stony Mountain. going to take a stone wall. I'd like to take it to the White Shell again. These are all local crawl spots, local-ish to me anyway, all within like an hour or so. So hopefully I can take it to those places and have some real good fun with it. Um, I've got some car shows coming up. I'll be showing it off there. And uh, yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting any mods that I wanted to do to it. Uh, like I said, I've got the winch. I might do a different bumper. I kind of like how this one gives you a good approach angle. Uh, it's got the winch in there for a hidden winch mount, which, hey, I'm cool with that. Uh, I think depending on space in the back i might put another winch so i might run two winches with those extra lights and a tow hitch yeah i'd like to add a tow hitch but because such a big truck because the the hinge mount comes right to the back of the axle or to the back of the frame that's where my tow hitch mount would be so i'm going to make a drop plate a drop plate from here to mount the hinge or the tow hitch here so it still comes out underneath this so that should uh, 
allow me to keep this hinge. And the other thing I'd like to do, just for my own sake, is I'd like to make a prop rod that I could just kind of use to hold up the chassis or the body when I'm working on it or whatever. Because when you do flop it all the way back, these light bar or light wires right here get pulled pretty tight and I don't want to rip those or tear them. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. I mean, it does have the uh, AR44 axles. They're not portals. That was the other thing with the TRX-6, but I had portals on my 10-3, and I, I'm i cool with not having them. Yeah, this gives it a more little bit more realistic drive feel to me, uh, but nothing against the TRX-6. They're, they're a great-looking truck. I want to try the open diffs, but for my budget, my needs, this will do more than fine, but... Uh, the only issue, sorry, I'm all over the place with this video, but the only issue that I've come across, and it hasn't been from actually running the truck, it's been from handling it. When I first got it, I tested the suspension, you pull up on this one, you pull down on this one, and this little drive shaft pops out. I'm hearing that this is a known problem. This is something that is, I don't know if it's, there's a remedy for it or what because when you pull the drive shafts or the axles to the stock location it centers pretty good it just i don't know i'm going to see if i can make a longer one a longer center shaft or possibly glue one in with shugu just lightly so it still moves a little bit in hopes that it won't fall out on the trail but even if it does i still have two axles driving i just don't want to lose that little piece so we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, stay tuned for more adventures with this truck. I will probably be driving it quite a bit in the near future, just because, well, it's new to me. And uh, I've got the Truggy, my orange Truggy, and the blue Jeep. And uh, yeah, we should have a good summer. This one here, pulling the trailers and dragging the other trucks and cars out to the, the tracks and wherever else we want to play with them. So... Yeah, stay tuned. Anyway, that's enough about this truck for now. I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of what I've done to the Truggy to change it up a little bit. After all, it is springtime, and I needed to do something different. So I have sold its winter wheels and tires, and I installed these. It's the same kind of tires I was running before the Canyon Trails. Uh, these ones here weren't glued onto any rims, so it worked perfect for a beadlock swap. The other ones I have are glued onto a K5 Blazer set of rims, which uh, a buddy of mine has some Blazers and he wanted those tires, so he got those off me. Uh, I picked up these rims off a local guy. He got them, I think, on AliExpress or something like that. They are the Injora, I don't know, six spoke somethings. They're nice. They were brand new. I couldn't pass up that deal. And I've got some single stage foam, so they are nice and firm. Hopefully it'll help on the side hills. Again, we're running droop, so it'll keep it from tipping over pretty pretty easy. I mean, I've got a good amount of tip in this thing before it rolls. So, should be fun, but that's your sneak peek. Anyway, catch you all in the next one. Have a great day.